I belong to a garden plot. Hey, it's Randall. So for everyone who has a yard at their home, that's great for you, but not everyone has a yard. Um, a good option is to look for co-ops or community gardens where you can actually grow your own food in a small plot. Uh, today we'll talk a little bit about that here on a garden plot. So I belong to a community garden plot on the campus of the University of the District of Columbia's Community College. It's located uh, next to Fort Totten in Riggs Park. Um, again, it's not a big campus, it's not a big community garden, but it's just big enough for you to build your small old four by 10 or four by six inch garden bed. Now, you know me, I like the usual suspects. Kale is what I'm growing now here. Uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty surprised considering um, how new uh, the plant things are. Just in case you didn't know, <laughs> we have the coronavirus this year and we didn't really have access to the community plot, uh, but they opened it up this September. And as you see, kale is doing really well. I also planted beans, which are also sort of out of control, and some span uh, spinach, which is not as good as I'd like. That said, you know, I get to take home a bushel of uh, kale every so often. That's, that's a pretty good uh, investment. So if you want to know more about community gardening, I'll put some links in the description below. Right down there, should be somewhere around there. Up or maybe up here. I think I'll put it up here this time. Uh, and you can maybe next year try your hand at a little plot, just like I had. Again, it's not for everyone. Uh, there is some other work involved, but it could be fun. And honestly, uh, being around people who garden is the next best thing to sort of being around people who uh, who you work with. So I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but it's a thing. In any case, um, thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one. All right, later.